Oh. Come on, big guy. Let's get it going again. Get it moving. Whoop. Let's go. Here we go. Move. I'm already breathing hard, boys. Go, go, go. Get him. Let's go, Black. Come on now. Right here. Get up, Juice. Yeah, baby. Wake up. Let's go. We got to take that next step. We got to take it this year. Yeah! We're not f***ing done. Yeah! 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 You guys had three lines. Shut up. Oh, ho, ho. Let's go to work, fellas. Start the climb. Start the climb. It's nearly 8,000 miles across the Pacific from Melbourne, Australia to Los Angeles. And upon returning from their preseason excursion down under, the California coast had to feel comforting to the LA Kings. And yet, the schedule offers little time for relaxation. Less than two weeks remain before the start of the regular season, and head coach Todd McClellan has little interest in easing back into work. Let's get going today. You got jobs to do. Yep. Ready? Go, go, go! Move it, move it, move it! Next line ready. The ability to get through the Australia trip, as far as the fatigue, the travel, potential injury, was satisfying. Good! They're figuring a few things out. Concerns have been the time off since we've got back, not playing any games with our regulars. Perhaps the lack of practice time because of the Australian trip, a bit of a concern there, are we behind? And the ability to evaluate hasn't existed. Now we're into that final phase back in North America, looking to finalize the roster. I guess the first thing, we'll start putting together rosters for Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday. Sunday's a day off for the whole club. Monday, we'll have to start getting down. Probably, I'd like to get you down to five lines. If we're healthy, and then our decision will be whether we go 13 forwards, 60, 12 forwards, 70. Yep. You only have one extra player. Yep. Let's say we went 12 forward 70. We have an injury that D plays. Yeah, so you go. We have one more, then we're in an emergency situation. And we can pick what position. And we call, and I'll give you a list of the players eligible. Okay. But it's just maybe when you're talking to your staff this week, just start thinking is an extra forward more important than an extra D? Yeah. Still the three goalies. Yeah, I think we'll carry three all week. Sure. Probably for the first time heading into a season, there is some cloudiness of who the number one guy is. Been looking for individuals, Phoenix Copley being one of them, obviously Cam Talbot, David Rich. They're all coming in to compete for ice time and for job. What that does is it puts everybody on notice and it keeps them competitive and somebody will grab the games and, and run with it, and that's what we're looking for. Among the three candidates in King's camp bidding for the starting netminder job, David Riddich has made a strong impression after signing with LA in hopes he could stick. I want to play NHL, that's, uh, that's still my dream, and it was when I was a kid, and it's still, a, it's still my dream, so I'll see what's going to happen. The 31-year-old Czech is competing in camp with a pair of fellow veterans just as hungry, and each carrying their own distinctive story. I always believed in what I could do at the NHL level. I just wanted to find the, the opportunity, and you know where I was at before, it wasn't happening, and so you know, as a free agent, I came here and just went to work and tried to carve out a role for myself. I just tried to make the most of that chance. Phoenix Copley is in his 10th season as a pro, but before last year, he played just 31 NHL games. He was the King's third string goalie when his number was unexpectedly called at midseason. Phoenix came in at a, a real crucial time in our season last year where, we're, where the stability in that position was needed, and he stepped up and he gave us that. Last year, I came in and did what I had to do, and now I got a, a new opportunity this year to, uh, to earn a spot and, and show what else I can do at this level. So that's my goal, and uh, that's what I'm working on. Come on. There you go. 
Wait, Tyler. Great job. I like it. I like it. That was so good. Depth was perfect. Like you looked really comfortable there. Decisive, right? I mean, didn't know much about him coming in. Obviously, I knew that from what I was told that he is a lot like me. We took a lot of the same paths, kind of journeyman. Took a while to get into the league, and we both want to battle. We both want the net. So um, it's going to be a good, healthy competition, and uh, that's all I can really ask for. Cam Talbot is 36. The Kings are his seventh career NHL team, and he's been pushing Copley and Riddich in the battle for the starting job. I saved that one off my head. Oh, yeah. Nice. The 2022 All-Star says he chose Los Angeles for the chance to make an immediate impact on a title contender. Uh, I mean, first and foremost, at this point in my career, I want to win. And this is a team that's, you know, at that stage and, and they're ready to, to take that next step now and, and win a championship again. So um, that was a big factor in my decision. And then again, uh, competing for starts. Up. I'm getting up there in goal years, I guess you could say, but I still have the fire, the drive, and obviously I would, I would love to start opening night. There's nothing like it, especially at home. I'd love to be the first one out of that tunnel. I'm a very competitive guy. I wasn't just ready to, to give that part up yet, so to compete for starts was huge. And then lastly, probably uh, just playing for Todd again. I played for him for four years in Edmonton. I had some of my best seasons under him. I know what I'm going to get with him, and he knows what he's going to get from me. So uh, it was a great relationship there, and I'm looking forward to building that again. Boy, Tal. We are three goalies here kind of battling for, for two jobs, and I think that competition is great. It's, it's, been, it's been good so far, and uh, you know we'll see what's going to happen. No go! No go! We want to push each other. Hi, boy, Copper. Because at the end of the day, when we push each other, we make the team better. So that's that's what we're trying to do. I love it when you see those in slow motion, and it's like, catch. Whoa! <laughs> it's an art. The players that are competing for positions, they know where they stand. They know who their potential targets are internally. It gets sorted out by them. Their effort, their commitment, their play will dictate who starts with our team. That way, Tops. This side, Mikey. You can start uh, talking. I'll start. Uh... Hey, Juice. Yeah. You want to switch at any time? Uh, yeah, my nickname is uh, Juice. There you go, Juice. Hunt, Juice, hunt. My first year in the minors, you know, started playing well, started scoring a lot of goals in the playoffs, and uh, they just thought I had uh, the juice on the ice. Yeah, it's, I think it's a pretty cool nickname. For all the juice Adrian Kempe brought onto the minor league ice as a first round draft pick, once he reached the NHL in 2017, it took a while to squeeze his talent to its full potential. Two years ago was the first year where I really thought that, uh, okay, I'm gonna have more of a shooting mentality than I've had uh, previous years. I'm one timing this thing. Oh, heavy. I think the last two years he's just taken off to being at the star level in the NHL. In the 2021-22 season, he more than doubled his previous career high with 35 goals. Then last year, he was an all-star for the first time. The first king in 29 years with a 40-goal season. You know who the last king to score 40 goals was? Luke Robitaille. <laughs> yeah, that's right, yeah. Every time I look at him, I go, man, we got to be patient with everyone now. <laughs> he's allowed our organization to say, let's be patient at times when these kids are 20, 21 years old because they're, they're going the right direction. It just happens at different times. If I would have stayed there, I would have scored a rebound. Shot it yeah. They still believe in me as much as they do ever since I got here. You know, it's been eight years now, and uh, I love this city and love the team. Yeah, it has been cool. We bought the place last year. We've been really happy here. And uh, yeah, the neighborhood is awesome. We're five minutes to the beach, which is nice. Five minutes to the beach, and then you see the whole team all playing volleyball and then swimming, and yeah. we're all super close. We love to host and have everyone here. It's... Yeah. Yeah, I think LA is also perfect for you and your clothes and stuff. I feel like it's the biggest city really that has that fashion access. 
I mean, a lot of different kind of styles, a lot of uh, regular day sneakers, uh, got some golf shoes and stuff. Yeah, and then here's for my suits. I usually wear for three games. Jordan ones, these are kind of one of my favorites. Uh, I've never actually wore these. There's always a new pair of shoes at the door, new hat, it's never ending. I do wear this probably the most out of any suit. It's pretty dark green. Uh, yeah, it's have juice man inside of it, some skulls. I feel like your fashion's changed so much too. Like even when we first started dating, I feel like it was very European, like that type style. And then you slowly moved that? into like <laughs> LA type, but. It's trendy. Yeah. <laughs> if Kempe is a reminder that young talent can take time to ripen, there's hope that 22-year-old defenseman Jordan Spence is ready to take the next step in his own journey and make a real bid to seize one of the team's few open roster spots. He's an NHL player, without any doubt. I think he's really close to, to, to making our roster. And we have to make some decisions down the stretch based on a number of different factors. Right now, he's truly in the mix, and we're all cheering for him. I think the guys were itching to get on the ice. They know that regular season's coming. They want to get their games and their reps in this week. Come on, Q. Come on, Q. We're really gearing up. I think everyone's just starting to gel right now, and um, we're all excited to get the, you know, get the games rolling. You can't even reach it. You can't even reach it. You can't even reach it. PL's personality seems to be one that lends itself to become part of a team real quick. And he's asking really good questions, smart questions. He wants information that he believes is going to help him. You like watching video and stuff? Or yeah. You don't want, I don't want to get you thinking too much. But yeah. your game, when I look at you, I go, oh, there's another level here. Mm -hmm. You want to get there. I think life in L.A. now has become uh, comfortable for him. Uh, yeah, I like, I like that. And I like, uh, like reminders of good things because I tend, to, I tend to concentrate on the negative. Like, yeah. this is what it looks like when it's oh, good. No, no, I know that. I'm and, not waiting. Too, yeah. Sometimes we'll sit together, Perfect. but I'm going to try to watch. Mm -hmm and help your game, grow your game, and then, but we just gotta talk. Yeah, that will help you. Yeah. Right. yeah, thank okay. you. Are we playing pool? Yeah. Yo, you gotta break though. He's too nervous to break on camera. I haven't played pool since we've been here last, so. Like, like three years, years ago. ago? What is it? Two stripes. No. Trevor Lewis and Drew Doughty are happy to be back on the same team, even if they use their free time to face off in some friendly competition. All right, I'm gonna put some down here, I think. This guy thinks he's good. These are familiar surroundings, and the walls tell the stories of their greatest memories. North End, Bar and Grill. We used to come here all the time when there wasn't very many people here, and it's kind of a little quiet spot for us to get away, and you know, I think we ended up bringing the cup here a couple times, and then it seemed to get busier and busier every time we came, and kind of became a king's bar. Oh, stay hot. I'm like almost undefeated on this table in life, though. In life? Yeah. Yeah, okay. To be honest, when we brought the cup here, I don't remember too much of what, what went on. Um, but uh, I know we had a great time and got some good pictures and stuff like that for the memories. This one's pretty cool. We did a parade down around here by the beach, and it was like so much fun. Party at my house today! Just the whole town, how, how much it was buzzing. It was a pretty special feeling for sure. And this one's a bluey, pretty good one. Yeah, that's my favorite one. I mean, this picture, I look like I've had a few drinks here, so it's a great picture, though. We've been coming here since as long as I've been here, and I think Drew used to live right there, too. Always was hanging out together away from the rink, and just kind of an easy fit to, to go in and live with him, and lived there for like six years or something like that. We'd create games to play at home and be chipping ping pong balls in the house and just creating any kind of game we could. There's a lot of pressure here. Yeah, we had a lot of fun, and uh, yeah, it's just happy to be back together. Oh, I'm coming in hot. 
I used to crush it, but no, I, haven't, he's lying. I haven't played since I left here, like three years ago. He's so. lying. They played together for 12 years here. Then Lewis left as a free agent in 2021, spending three seasons away before re-signing with LA this summer. It was obviously a weird time when I left playing here my whole career, and then um, it was that kind of that COVID year, the bubble year, and I actually was in Winnipeg for that year, and then been in Calgary the past two years, which I enjoyed my time there, but once I got the call from LA this summer, it was kind of a no-brainer for me to come back. I told my wife, and she started crying, and kids were happy, and obviously the first guy I text was this guy. I mean, it's a lot of the same staff and a lot of the same management and stuff like that, so it's kind of uh, easy coming to the rink, and you know, it doesn't even feel like I left, really. See, you're not good sober, pool. He doesn't talk smack to anyone but me. Pretty I sure. Well, I don't talk nearly as much as you either. <laughs> Personally, it was uh, super exciting to have him back, uh, one of my best friends. I think he's gonna be a big part to our team. Lovely backhand finish for Trevor Lewis. We were missing a player like him, I think, a little bit in the last couple years, and someone who will do anything to the team, play his role, and he's a really good professional, so he's going to help our young guys uh, learn what it's like to be a professional and what it takes, and overall, it's just a great time him back. We, like, won the cup too quick in our careers, and then it seemed like it was easy, and then you realize how hard it is, to be honest. We got to do it one more yeah, time. Yeah, it'd be, it'd be Hopefully this unreal. Year. Yeah. yeah. Got to do it one more. I believe we have a very good team this year. Getting guys like Louie and stuff like that kind of makes our team more complete, and we're just excited to get the season started to see what we can do. Boom. You want another one? One more? I got to go get my kids. <laughs> See you later. See ya. From Crypto.com Arena tonight, the LA Kings host their crosstown rivals, the Anaheim Ducks. The LA Kings have really added, I think, a lot of depth to their lineup. This is a team that, that's going to raise, I think, a lot of eyebrows around the league this season. Okay, for us. We talked a lot about uh, all parts of our game. One thing we haven't mentioned is establishing it early and being direct. If we're chasing a two-on-one, we're hunting puck, okay? Get direct early. Put pucks to pads. Come up with it. Get that part of our game in uh, right off the bat. Starters. All right, in the back end, we got Roisy and Gabby. Uh, up front, we got Phil, Vic, Morsey, and in net, we got Talbot. Hey. Come on, boys. Here we go. Here we go, boys. Come on. Come on. Hold on just a sec. Just a sec. We got a little something with Drew first. Here we go. Come on. With opening night of the regular season now just a week away, games like tonight take on the form of true dress rehearsals, played at full speed with full focus. Guys are ready here. Dubois ready on the fly. Let's go, Black. Come on now. Let's go. You know, this young Anaheim defense is going to be tested by this veteran LA club. Good two men. Good two men. Keep it alive. Keep it alive, Harvey. Good job. Early, early on your forehand. Initial shot of the game comes from Gavrikov. Next play, next play. Good start, boys. Good start. Follow this up. Hunt, hunt. Go get it. Go get it. Kopitar gets it to the front of the net and it's fired wide. Ah! Great chance for Quentin Byfield. I centered it and then you got a you got a good wood on it actually. It probably just deflected, right? Good job. Nice. Dubois for the Kings. That's up. Keep going. In on left wing to Fiali. He's in too deep. The wraparound chance. Kenny scores. You guys are looking good. Great job. Good job, Mike. I thought they were going to get it in, so I cheated. That's why they got that shot. Fiala with his fifth 20-goal season a year ago as the first goal of the night here. Shoot it. Kings on top, 1-0. Right here, get up, Juice. Fiala kept it in. Kempe plays it down low. Now it's centered by Arvidsson and a score. Great shot. Wow. Kempe. 
Bay buried it with a one-timer. 2-0 LA. Dewey, good eyes, Dewey. Good eyes. Good eyes. I had to one-touch it, though. I had to one-touch it. Let's go. Tough ice now, a shooting ice. Got to fill holes. Good heels, good heels. Point save. Score on the rebound. Carol Grunstrom bends home the rebound of Gavrikov's point shot. So the Kings now have a 3 nothing lead. Anyway, Carl, way to be there. The Los Angeles Kings have been absolutely flying through the neutral zone with period one tonight. Ah, you f***ing rat! It's a f***ing two-hand! Come on, Dewey. Physicality picking up a little bit. It looks like Ducks King. Yeah, it's starting to. And now things getting spicy between Fiala and Tristan Luno. And that'll do it for the first period. So a period dominated by the Kings. The Kings hope they get that in the regular season. Okay, just quickly. We play, we play, we play. We're doing some good things in the Ozone, using some of the things we talked about. We turn the puck over. And our hunt and our gap is excellent. There's no space in there that allows us to get going and, and turn it back and go the other way again. So you're always ahead. Keep that coming. Let's keep it going here. See if we can maintain momentum. Come on. Let me tell you a story. In a game like hockey, momentum can be a thorny element to maintain. Go, go, go! After all, the results are dependent on so many different factors. Oh my goodness. The meld of so many different individual performances on the ice. Yep, yeah, let's go! Changing! The Kings fielding a lineup that can look very much like an opening night lineup. But the finest teams, the smartest coaches, and the best players are the ones that work the hardest. Work, work, work! Care the most. Hunt, hunt. Don't let them off the hook. And consistently find ways to perform a little better than they did the day before. Without a doubt, they came prepared to play tonight. A dedication to those truths is what carves a path to the Stanley Cup. And the idea of momentum takes care of itself. Better engine, good job. Along the way. Excellent. The Kings win the game, four to one. Good job, bud. Good job, boys. Improved their preseason record to five, one, and one. Talk to the group before the game about structure, the systems, the execution within them, with all the other intangibles, the speed, the pace that we did it, the immeasurable stuff that you just have to bring every night and putting the two together, and I thought we did a good job of that. There's a needle that points us in the right direction now for practice tomorrow. Next on Behind the Glass. Seems a little more assertive and confident, like he wants that spot. All these guys want to play. To Gabrikov, to Fiala, one-timer, Dubois scores! Playing back in my hometown in Salt Lake, spotted my dad right away. This is your rookie jersey. It was a special, special night. For more inside access to the Kings training camp, go to NHLnetwork.com or follow hashtag Behind the Glass on social media.